couple letters being sent to the governor of Oregon, Kate Brown. That's what I'm going to do today. Hello, my name is Todd. I want to thank you for tuning into the Chill Jack channel. I greatly appreciate you taking time out of your day. What I've got for you are a couple letters, one written by a 13-year-old, one by a 19-year-old. Yes, they're letters by my children, and no, I did not make them write the letters. These were letters that were freely written to my children, expressing their frustrations, aggravation, and anger to Kate Brown. And I'm literally going to read you these letters. So bear with me. Sorry if I make any mistakes. That's just the way I am. So please listen in. First one comes from my son, who's 13 years old. It's, he states, it titles it, Kate Brown Sucks. And he goes on to say, Dear Kate Brown, you have ruined my life. My name is Isaiah. I'm a 13-year-old middle school student at Floyd Light Middle School. I'm writing you because you have ruined my life. How, may you ask? By shutting down schools, pools, businesses, and events. You have ruined other people's lives like my sister's. One of my sisters now can't earn money for her Disneyland trip with her orchestra next year or for a new cello case since the community center where she is a lifeguard is closed and staying closed through the summer. You are opening pot stores and non-essential stores like liquor stores, yet the shoe store my dad needs for his bad feet remain closed. I do not like to be home all day and not being able to see my teachers and friends from school and church. Having to wear a mask, even though the COVID-19 virus will get through those masks, unless it's an N95 mask, is stupid. The chances of us children dying from COVID is zero or next to zero. The flu virus is worse than the COVID in death, and it is known that people are being labeled as dying of COVID when they are not. In my opinion, this shelter in place is a ploy to destroy the economy and cheat in the presidential election by forcing mail-in ballots. Where in the Constitution does it say I have to stay home in a pandemic and wear a mask went outside of your house. I am done being inside and I want to have the parks opened and you removed from office. I also will protest going out in public by not wearing a mask. Sincerely, my son, same as Isaiah. And he was expressing his true feelings as you can see. I hope you kind of get a sense of what he's feeling at this moment and the frustration he's been having. He got to miss going to a band trip as well as march in a parade, all thanks to Kate Brown closing everything down out of fear for a virus that's not as bad as they lied to us that it was. All right, so the next letter is written by my oldest daughter. And I'll read this one to you as well, because she's even more angered and frustrated at our governor. She didn't title it, but she starts off, Dear Governor Kate Brown, My name is Rachel. I am a senior at David Douglas High School, wanting to write to you about how I feel about this horrible situation. Let me first say thank you for ruining my senior year. I really appreciate it. Not... I want you to know that what you are doing is wrong and goes against everything this country stands for. Thank you for taking away my freedom to travel, assembly, and exercise any of my God-given rights granted to me in our U.S. Constitution. You are violating the Constitution of the United States with your stay-at-home order, period. This stay-at-home order violates the Fourth Amendment. Nowhere in the Constitution does it say, pandemic, you shut down and lock everyone up. I want you to know that when it comes time to vote for governor again, you will not get my vote. I also hope that when Oregon voters vote again for governor, they think about what you have done 
to the state, taking away my graduation that I deserve, taking away jobs, shutting down businesses, which has caused businesses to close permanently, shutting down parks, basically destroyed the economy, and financially destroyed families across the state. I am a very bright person, and let me tell you, I know that you don't want to open Oregon again like it was before the pandemic. I also know that you know that COVID-19 is not as bad as we were led to believe by the left-wing media and Dr. Burks and Dr. Fauci. You just want to put fear into every person in the state, continue the police state, and keep the power that you have taken illegally. That is just wrong. There have been cases across the country where people have been labeled as dying from COVID-19 even though there is no proof they actually died from COVID-19. Doctors have even been told to label people as dying of COVID-19 even though they did not die from COVID-19. So, how in the world are we to believe the deaths in Oregon that you say are deaths caused by COVID-19? Were these supposed deaths actually confirmed by testing that these people really had COVID-19? It is just wrong to keep the fear-mongering going. It is time to return the state to normal operation. Because we both know that the flu is worse than COVID-19, and yet you or anyone else has shut the state down for influence. Excuse me. And yet you or anyone else has not shut the state down for influenza. Let me just say we never do this with the flu. That is, shut down the whole country. Yet you and I know that the flu has and is killing more people than COVID-19 has. Stop listening to Dr. Fauci because he is lying about everything related to COVID-19. I also know that you know that there is a chance of getting COVID-19 and a very small chance, about 0.03% chance of dying from COVID-19, according to Dr. Erickson, from California. So please, for the love of humanity and God, open up the state. I also know that the masks that we are give, given are going, excuse me, I also know that the masks that we are given are not going to stop COVID-19 unless they are HEPA masks N95. So why make us wear them? It also does not say in the Constitution that we have to wear masks in a pandemic. It is my God-given right not to wear a mask if I choose. So stop forcing me and everyone else to wear a mask because I will not. I'm 19 years old and I know my rights. Maybe you should reread the Constitution because it seems that you don't... It seems that you do... Pardon me. Maybe you should reread the Constitution because it seems you do not care what it says, or maybe you just simply don't care what it says. The proof that you don't care what it says is the fact that you signed the red flag law, which violates due process clause granted to us in the Bill of Rights. I am leaning on that you don't care, which means you don't care about people's rights in this state. And a governor should care about people's rights. You should immediately open up the state, giving back our constitutional rights, or you need to step down as governor and be replaced with someone who will get the job done correctly, which is something you have not done. I pray that God will open your eyes to see what is right, including the preservation of all human life, including the unborn. Your constituent, Rachel. So those are a couple of letters my children wrote.
and that's only two of my five I do have five and they all are done with Governor Kate Brown they're fed up being home they're fed up not being able to see their friends they're fed up not being able to go places like down to Medford to visit my parents they're fed up not being able to just travel in general maybe even fly back to see their grandparents in Pennsylvania they're done they want their freedoms back they know their freedoms if there's one thing I've done as a dad and that's pushed upon them to know the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and as you can see a couple of them know it fairly well now I'm not going to get into all the ins and outs where they might have gone wrong in their letter what facts they might have got right or not gotten right the point is my children are frustrated the point is Dr. Fauci has lied to the American people the point is COVID-19 is not as bad as Dr. Fauci led us to believe and no the isolation has not been the reason it's not as bad all you have to look to are those countries like I believe it's Sweden that didn't lock things down and their death rate is about equal to everyone else's in numbers not numbers but by percentages and so that's what I have to say today I hope you will listen to what my children have said I seriously doubt Kate Brown you are watching this but I really do I hope you do but I doubt you are anyway thank you for watching my video take care I hope you're having a good day God bless and please go out and recapture your rights granted to you under the United States Constitution even if it means you have to put up a fight in the courts like the gal in Texas we'll talk to you later hi I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch one of my videos please hit the like button below and if you would hit the subscribe link up here and take some time to watch one of my other videos thanks again and have a wonderful day God bless and take care of yourself